All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche head coach, Jared Bednar, Ryan O'Halloran, Denver Post. Hey, Jared, who, who, who do you go with uh, in Kadri's spot tonight? What was the thinking behind that? Uh, well, Soderberg's going to come into the lineup. And uh, while well, he's a veteran guy, plays real well in St. Louis, you know, he's the next man up in, in my opinion. So he's coming into the lineup. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Jared, have you gotten, I guess, any clarity on the timeline with Kadri's situation? No, I don't have any. I don't have any new information on that. Lauren Jabara, Altitude Sports. Hey, Jared, obviously up to nothing. Now you're heading into the opposition's building. Does, does anything change for you guys, or what's the biggest challenge now going to play in front of another, in, in front of another building's fans um, here for game three? Nothing changes for us. Our goal is to play a complete 60 minutes. I thought we did a lot of real good things in game one and game two, um, but we didn't play a full 60 to, to the standard that, that we've set for our team. And our guys are aware of that. They've seen some of the things we've done well. They've seen some of the things that we need to improve upon and we got to get more consistent at. And that's our goal here for tonight. We know we're going to see the challenges. We're going to see St. Louis's best game. Um, to date and we have to be prepared for that and we're gonna to have to be a lot better than we were in game two. Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. Jared, uh, I know you, nothing changes, but uh, do you have to be on guard maybe a little more for potential the first 10 minutes of, you know, trying to set a tone, they're gonna to try to be physical, get, you know, uh, revenge, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you know what I'm saying? I think that, you know, team's game plan playing against us is to come out and play us physical. And, and that's been the same all year long. I think it's it's part of how people think they can beat us. I don't expect them to be any different than, than what they did in game one or game two from a physicality standpoint. And um, like I said, pre prior to the series, our, our team's prepared for it. We've been prepared for it all year. And, and uh, I expect our guys to come out and play hard as well. Rick Sadowski, NHL.com. Hi, Jared. I mean, you've talked about the depth that you guys have on this team since training camp, really. Does it make you feel at least a little more comfortable, if that's the right word, knowing that you have multiple options at center, guys that you can use before and even switch around during games? Yeah, yeah. I mean, more depth is better than less depth. You know, that's the way I look at it. We're going to need, if, if we're getting to where we want to go to in these playoffs, we're going to need everyone. And, um, you know, we've got guys that are injured and out of the lineup already. We've had other guys uh, that, that Joe is, is acquired and, and have come in and stepped in for him. We've got some guys that are out. We've got some guys in the taxi squad that have played for us. All that depth um, will be needed. And, and you know, we, we, if losing Naz, it, someone else has to step up and go into his place. And, and um, Carl will come into the lineup, shuffle some lines around, and, and we'll get ready to go here for tonight. We'll take two more here for Jared. Ryan O'Halloran, Denver Post. Hey Jared, Brandon Saad back in the lineup for the last two games after a layoff. What have you made of his play so far in this series? I thought he's been great. Yeah, good defensively. I think uh, strong on pucks in the offensive zone. The detail to his game is there. You know, he's getting around the net. I, I, I like him in this series a lot. I think he's got the ability to hang on to the puck in the offensive zone. Um, you know, I think we need a little bit more from all our guys, but I think uh, – for the most part, I'm pretty happy with, with what he's done coming in the lineup after the layoff. And last one here, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Jared, there's not a ton of overlap on like your top PK units and your top power play units. How beneficial is that during like warm up and practice where you can have your top power play guys against your top PK guys? Yeah, well, I think it's trying to find a role for all of our guys and um, a, a role that they not only do well in, excel in, but they, they take pride in. And, and we've got penalty kill guys that, that, you know, take a lot of pride in what they do. I think they're good at what they do. Uh, same thing with our power play guys. And, and uh, then when you get in practice, it makes it more fun too. There's a little bit of competition there. There's a, um, you guys trash talking one another in practice and, and enjoying playing against one another. And you, you know, that's how you get better. You get a little competitive in, in areas of your game and, and, and still have fun with it and enjoy the competition part of it. And it carries over into the games. 
All right, thank you, Jared. All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche forward, Carl Soderberg, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, Carl, how did you kind of approach the first few games of this series when you were in the lineup? What was kind of your mindset going through skates and practices? Just stay sharp, get ready for next game. Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. Uh, Carl, uh, do you uh, prefer any spot in the lineup at all uh, where you might play wing center, or does it matter at this point? No, it doesn't matter at this point. I play wherever we need me to play. Any other questions for Carl? Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Were there any specific things you worked on in, like, practices the last few, few I guess, last week or so when you weren't in the lineup? Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, I worked uh, – Speed, skills, pretty much everything. Try to work hard, just be mentally ready for next game. So it's just uh, not much more you can do. Last one here for Carl, Ron Knabenbauer, avalanche.com. Hey, Carl, what is it about the Stanley Cup playoffs that makes it the best time of the year to play in for you? I mean, uh, we all dream about winning. So it's all about winning. We have a good lead right now try to get the next game and uh like i mean i haven't played so far but uh, obviously i'm very excited to get in tonight so it'll be a lot of fun all right thank you carl we'll take questions for avalanche defenseman samuel gerard peter Baugh, the athletic hey sam how just i guess how was the transition coming back from being hurt? Like, how have you felt you've done and progressed as the weeks have gone on since you've been back in the lineup? Uh, it was not too bad. You know, I had two two games uh, before the playoffs. So uh, just to get back in shape a little bit. So that was not too bad.